It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Uh, Allie Breen is the host of Sexy Time. <laughs> and uh, the, way this works, the way this works is we uh, we get letters. You can reach Allie, by the way. It's Allie Breen on most social media platforms. A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N. And uh, Allie, what have we got today? Dear Allie, I was dog sitting at my friend's apartment last week. And as I was coming in from walking the dog, I saw a friend of mine's husband getting into the elevator with a very young, pretty girl. Mm -hmm. He didn't see me and I didn't say hi because it didn't seem like an innocent situation. Should I tell her or tell him that I saw him or just stay quiet? Keep your mouth yep. shut. Stay quiet. Uh, yes. You don't have enough. Yeah. You don't You don't know enough. And it could be a family member. Uh, yeah, it could be a niece. It could be anything. <laughs> Don't jump to conclusions. Yeah. Stay or, out of it. Or act ignorant, and the next time you see them together, be like, I thought I saw you uh, at this one building with some, or, you know. You know, the one in bring it up. Uh, so uh, narc uh, immediately. Yes, and, yeah, yeah, fifth <laughs> Avenue, or, uh, Fifth and Fornication. Uh, um, yes. Just see what he says. Do you have a hot niece who lives at this address? Uh, yeah. <laughs> there might have been a prostitute. There might not have been any sort of emotional connection at all. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make it right. <laughs> what? Uh, it doesn't oh, make right. it totally wrong. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> it's loving you is right. I've never been married. I don't want to be <laughs> I see. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, keep your mouth shut. Don't say anything. So that, uh, your, th your thoughts, Willie? You have any yeah, I think, I mean, if, if someone's shoplifting, you don't say anything, this is the same exact idea. Oh, really? Oh, oh sure. You, yeah. don't, you don't knock on a shoplifter? Are you kidding me? Huh. Get, I'll hold the door open for you while you steal the bread. Are you joking? Get oh, out of here, buddy. Yeah, you, you're <laughs> uh, in the right bread. I failed yeah. as a father. You don't knock on anybody. <laughs> okay. You let people do their thing. Mind All your right. own business. Wait a minute. So later, when they, when the, whoever finds out about it that was wrong, do they go, did you know about this and you go yeah i found it what do you do then you do chick the same thing i do when i see you flash your park nothing i keep my eyes forward blinders on mind my business that's a good boy yeah, that's right you do now uh, <laughs> now we have to stop the show and explain uh, that's right flasher parking does not mean the chick parks his car then opens up his raincoat and you know flashes some old lady <laughs> right he does do that but that is as a far as you know that's yes old do you want to explain to, to ms breen what that's, flasher parking is flasher. yeah what flasher. is that flasher is you put you wherever you're going whatever you're doing first of all realize it's more important than what anyone else has to do <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's start there you're in my way I'm on and board. Whatever, uh, whatever <laughs> establishment you're going in, pull up. Yeah. Hopefully, squeal the tires. <laughs> Kick the flashers on and run in and conduct commerce. Leave your car there by the curb with the flashers on. Boom. Chick Automatic is, parking space. Chick is almost the champion of yep. it, but he has not done the one thing, the one flasher park that will make you the king of all flasher parking. The, the Moby Dick of... Airport overnight. Yes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I have not flashed and parked at the airport curb, <laughs> flown to Florida, and then come back two days later and popped in the car and driven home. No. Be there. Yeah. Right. What do you mean the bomb squad either. blew it up? <laughs> I've not done that yet. We did have a, a fireman write us a letter saying that uh, he loves it when people flash or park or park in front of fire hydrants, and they uh, they have a tool to bust the windows, and they put the hose right through the window. Yeah. See, that to me, he's, uh, a, he's a thug is what he is. <laughs> no, that man is doing his job. Okay, uh, Allie Breen is our guest, and the, the program is called Sexy Time. Uh, what do we got, Allie? Dear Allie, a crazy girl I kind of know keeps telling me my boyfriend has been cheating on me. She's doing it through text and other passive-aggressive means. I know she's crazy, but am I being dumb in not taking any of this seriously? Should I try checking up on him somehow? Oh, God. No. No. Just... I say yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm like... Well, why would she bring this up out of nowhere? Because crazy girl wants the yeah. guy. Because she nuts. wants the guy. Well, she likes well, attention, out. Why but not? she's probably excited to be the one to bring it up. Like, yeah. she feels like she's a hero because she's crazy. I think you have every right to bring it up to the guy. Just go, hey, you know what? This, yep. this chick's texting me about... How you cheated and all, and, and that you're cheating currently. And then he can lie to your face. And yeah. then, well, yeah, exactly. I mean, at least you can get a feel <laughs> then. No, you have every right to go through his phone. Oh, that's <laughs> that point, I do. You I go know. through your boyfriend's phone? Seriously. I, I haven't in a long time, but I've done it before. I oh. haven't, I haven't, I haven't in a long time. And I... This came up yesterday. We were somewhere and he had to run in. He goes, you know, I left my phone. Do you want to go through it? It's right there. I go, why would I go through your phone? I don't understand. So what'd you find? He's got I another didn't. phone. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I go, you can go through my phone. I had nothing, whatever you want to look at. I mean, I don't understand. 
I mean, that's way too healthy. That's is just he, so <laughs> who is the, Does who, he know how fortunate he is he's getting new, Christy? Yeah. Does he know? He, yeah, oh, yeah, I think he, yeah. Remember, one of the comedians who was in here said that oh, after the shows, people want to do selfies, and he'd always insist on taking that picture, and he would always take their phone and take a snap and then click over to their photos and see how far back he had to go for a uh, rather personal photograph oh, of someone. Oh, that is oh, creepy. No. It's so inappropriate Oof. to go right. through someone's photos. What you yeah. do Absolutely. is you go to the messages they have with someone they might be sending those photos oh. to. Oh. Click info and then all the photos just pop right up. Oh. Much oh. easier, <laughs> much faster, very efficient. There you go. <laughs> well, well. See how simple that is, Tom? I have no ah. idea. I say t tell him about these texts. See what he says. Yeah. But Don't. maybe hold hands while you're talking about it so you can gauge his pulse. Huh? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, it's face. like a self-lie detector. A little bit. Exactly. <laughs> Don't let him know it's coming. Get him an Apple Watch as a gift, and then guess what? It's a lie detector. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea, Willie. Boy, trust is gone in America, isn't it? Jeez. Oh, yeah. I think it's worldwide. Uh, let's get our next letter out there. Dear Allie, my wife and I haven't gotten along in years. We haven't had sex in almost a year. <laughs> and I started to get very flirty with a new girl at work. Yeah. It developed into an actual affair. And is it crazy that I think it's actually helping my relationship with my wife? Yes, that's crazy. I can crazy. suddenly tolerate her again. And I have a sex life on the side. It's tradition in other cultures to have a wife and a girlfriend. <laughs> Why not ours? It's 2022. Can we start to normalize this, please? Normalize. Good word. It's Wow. I think well, this culture's the other wife knows about it, though, right? I have right? a very unpopular opinion. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Oh, no. You're, you're exactly right. It no. is helping your marriage. I, I agree. Yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> I agree with Josh on this one. I think there are certain times when... And it works the other yes, way. Yes, and she should start, the wife should start referring uh, to this, uh, the woman as our girlfriend. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. I'm assuming she doesn't know about this other woman. Right, and she no, doesn't need to. Exactly. Let, don't hurt her by telling her. Wow. I so think he's having helps. sex with her wife. Wait a minute, wait, 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 let me make it clear. Hang on a second, Alzi's about to explode. What? No, I'm just saying, huh. I mean, I guess if she's gone a year without doing it with her husband, uh, right. you probably should be worried and you should have already known if you're a, his wife right right what do you yeah. mean like if all what, of a sudden he's the, gonna cheat that he's gonna something like find it somewhere else doing it for a year and you're not getting along then all of a sudden something changes with him and you're not the one never underestimate the power of projection she might be going i'm not interested in sex he's not bothering me for it so he's not interested in sex but then all of a sudden he feels he's the same happy? way i do and he's in a good mood again. Yeah. It's like, oh, something's got to be going on. Well, Wait a minute. So, oh, this is that's a weird. This is nothing I would ever do, by the way. This is, but this is working for you. And I say, let it work. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying, Alzi, that because this guy is suddenly happy. Uh, the the wife needs to be suspicious and oh for sure she so like, in other words this this poor guy is finally happy how can I ruin this yes <laughs> yeah something there is up okay. Christie's new feature uh, open with an obit yep um, come on. Sad Come news. On, I like it. man. Uh, she uh, <laughs> she opened with the uh, the obituary. Sadly, uh, Bobby Rydell, oh, who um, Pompadour teen idol, as he's described by this obituary. I had to look him up. Kind of of the Fabian <laughs> Frankie Avalon <laughs> era. Half his family. I'm oh, so, something oh, no. in, is something in the air. The yeah, he's got revolution and yeah. the, the okay. Well, that's what I was thinking. Of. That's a different thing. That's thunderclap. Could we keep on one topic for thirty seconds? <laughs> Why no. start now? Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell start? I learned it from you. We don't want to talk about him anymore. I've got something for you that oh, you're okay. going to like. Oh, all right. That I'm going to hate, but I'm doing it because I'm the better man. <laughs> well, okay, right. then. Good. Everybody right. got that. <laughs> um, he, uh, Bobby Rydell, he's in the, one of my favorite movies, Bye Bye Birdie. Um, and admittedly, it's it's a it's a musical. Parts of it are somewhat um, unrealistic. The fact that uh, the, most of the people playing teenagers are well into their thirties, and that uh, Paul Lynn plays a heterosexual husband. These are these are uh, uh, obviously a and comic stretch. But when the um, music was written. There were far fewer notes back then. Uh, yeah, but um, <laughs> uh, Bobby Rydell did have this hit. I'm going to play just an excerpt of it uh, for you. Uh, this is called the Wild One. <laughs> Okay. 
And now, uh, down, uh, take me down now. Now, but we did find out that uh, this is the part that I'm not too keen on. Uh, oh, okay. oh, boy. Um, you guys, big fans of Suzy Quattro. Yeah. Well, and the course. song that you like so much is, uh, uh, what's it called? Stumbling again? In. Stumbling yeah. In. Mm -hmm. um, she did a version <laughs> of the wild one. Oh, okay. yeah, she did. Let's yeah, she did. Here we go. So this is the cover that Jerry Lee Lewis. This is the other one. Yeah. 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 It's just as awful. That's mm. cacophonous. Yeah. yeah. A, lot of, a lot of screaming. Yeah. Too loud. There she is. There's the Susie we There's know. There's that soothing Susie we know. Soothing, soothing Susie Quattro. Yeah. Not trying to be part of the Runaways. Yes. Her only hit. Susie Ford. Uh, Sing okay. it, Suze. Suze you remember Hannibal. the uh, rock star on the Jetsons was called Jet Screamer. Oh. And he did uh, Rockin' with Judy Jetson. Oh. Yeah, I remember Judy had a big, big and, role in that. Yeah. Jet, Jet Screamer sounds like something you add to your shower uh, <laughs> hose, <laughs> ladies. And he had... <laughs> kind of like a water pick for the old Jet Volvo. Screamer sounds like the most popular <laughs> squirter <Yikes>. porn <laughs> star. <laughs> Jet Screamer. He had two big hits, Eep, Op, Ork, uh, uh. I, I totally remember, remember that. that. You remember that? Yes. Yep. yep. Yes. And what, I thought you had a stroke. What is that? Is a song also, title? also yeah. Gleep Glorp was right. Uh, Judy kind of sang back up on. Yeah, it was okay. very. Who tough. was the rock star on the Flintstones? Uh, Anne Margrock and I. Oh, I forget. Was, was I it? remember in the movie it was the BC 52. Well, there was one where was they it? did Fred and Barney were rock stars and Fred looked like Elvis. He had the pompadour. Oh, cool. Yeah, and he, <laughs> they did a song called The Twitch. I think. The Twitch. <laughs> I think. Oh, that sounds very politically incorrect. <laughs> Which one had the, uh, we're going to go way out, way out. Oh, it was Flintstones, The Twitch. See? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. And uh, listen to The Rockin' Bird. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to listen to The Rockin' Bird. I bet bird. it's, uh, yeah, we know how it's going to sound. It's like the bird song. <laughs> well, 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 well. Listen to the bird, yeah. the rockin' bird. Bur, 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 bur. I bet so. Yeah. Uh, is, isn't. Wouldn't calling something the Twitch be? I don't know. Well, not that. It's not that bad of a. What's wrong with the Twitch? Oh, it is People. Fred. It is Fred in like a beetle wig. Yeah, that's who. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, okay. they they did have the Bo Brummel stones on the Flintstones. They did. No, <laughs> they did not. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Too hip. Wait a minute. Yeah, they did. They did. Uh, the the five the five celebrities on the Flintstones and Margrock. Ed Sully Stone. <laughs> oh, man. Alvin Brickrock. I don't know who that was supposed to be. Rock Quarry. Uh-oh. <laughs> and jo one of Josh's favorite, Stoney Curtis. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. Huh? Well, it's a Stoney Curtis here. <laughs> I can't talk to you right now, Stoney. I love you, Flintstone. <laughs> Stoney Curtis. I, I, just... I am Flintstone. <laughs> I am I am Flintstone. <laughs> is that a, is that a new dance or you got the you got use that a tick? <laughs> is that a twitch? Yeah, you know, yeah, do that tick. And the, uh, <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, isn't the twitch the same? It just seems not. When I do Margaret, the spasm, <laughs> <laughs> it just seems too many. It's a palsy. <laughs> oh no, it's a palsy. When Anne Margaret does her song, uh, there was a guy playing a trumpet, or is that a a baby elephant? He, that's right, he's playing a baby elephant. Oh, oh hilarious! Yeah. yeah, they always yeah. Watch out for the mud bank. It's all every. Why? Is, yeah, is that what you blow into? <laughs> and the bass guitar is a, a flamingo with oh. the strings stretched from Naturally. the feet down to the oh, feet. I love that stuff. Now, we had a... And um, you thought your job was bad. <laughs> <laughs> we had an experimental song yesterday on the show. Um, uh, Pat, uh, uh, congratulations. You did a great job. You wrote it, did, you wrote it in about five, ten minutes. I know you've had time to polish it a little bit. And I want to give the background on this. And Josh and Chick started it. Yeah, they started uh, singing... Um, I think this is it right here. Do your boobs hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your boobs hang low? Yeah. Woo! That's you guys from yesterday. Yeah, we That's sang hilarious. that on the playground. That gets oh, down, I've never man. Heard yeah. that. Somewhat augmented with a delightful banjo. Wonderful, yeah. Never heard that. Never, really? That never needs to go viral. Man. <laughs> But 
uh, now we I guess we're going to check in with Tiger Woods. Yeah, but uh, first, you know, Tiger says he's going to uh, play the Masters this was starting tomorrow. He's going to play nine holes today, see how it goes today, and then he will announce officially whether he tees off tomorrow morning at 10.34 Eastern time, although he does have a tea, a tea time. Uh, but this happened, uh, gosh, 20, 25 years ago when my uh, roving eye caught up with uh, Tiger Woods, and he called me one day on the air. Sure. Hello? Hey. It's, uh, it's Tiger. Oh, hey, Tiger. What's going on, man? I need you to do me a huge favor. Yeah, sure thing, man. What do you need? Um, can you please take your name off your phone? My wife went through my phone and uh, maybe calling you. What? If you can, please take your name off that. Are you me? And, um... <laughs> She knows about us? Oh, man, this is bad. This is really bad. She hasn't seen the photos yet, has she? Um. <laughs> Tiger, you still love me, right? You got to do this for me. Please tell me you still love me. Bye. Tiger? Tiger? Oh. Hello? There's a broken heart. On every, that's, that's painful. Every, love hurts. Every driver on. Well, on, on as you described it yesterday, <laughs> just in practice, there were, what, 10,000 people watching oh, at, at least. And yesterday, it was just on the uh, driving. It rained quite a bit yesterday in Augusta, and he was just practicing his swing. And it was raining, and the stands were full watching Tiger. Yeah, people in hats. It was crazy. So now, uh, Pat, do you... Do you have a tribute to Tiger Woods? Yeah, I wrote this this morning. It's in part a loving tribute. No yeah. kidding. Oh, yeah. Nice. 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 Tiger's had four back surgeries. Crushed his leg in an SUV. Now he's playing in the Masters. Does he still have the goods? Could he win? Tiger Woods. He got a DUI and ran around on his wife. You would have thought he'd be screwed for life. Nike stayed with him. His wife left for good. Tiger moved on like a Tiger would. Tiger made it through a scandal. Most folks thought he'd fail. Next time you get caught with another woman, delete all your voicemail. <laughs> Tiger might be the best golfer alive. I hope he ubers to Augusta and doesn't drive. We're rooting for you, Tiger. Only one man could win after all you've been through. Tiger Woods, I'm talking about Tiger. Tiger Woods. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, I told you. That's nice. That's nice. It's very nice. Well, yeah. And you're giving good advice. <laughs> Don't drive, Tiger. You better Uber and, yeah. uh, uh -huh. and, and delete your voicemail. Right. Remember, he came back in 19, won the Masters, and uh, then he had the car crash. And now, can you imagine This could be one of the greatest car. comeback oh, number two. Insane. Holy hell. And uh, America the, loves the second act. And, all uh, that, this is the third, third act. act. Yeah. The, uh, this is, uh, you said the TV ratings will go through the roof. Oh, yeah. I, they, I'm going to watch on my ESPN Plus. Heck, yeah. Check it out, man. And Tomorrow, T at 1034. That's why I got to really get out of here right after the show. Uh, it, was, it, will not, it won't be on CBS? <laughs> uh, CBS this weekend, yeah. But ESPN has uh, coverage before that. Yeah. How many channels are there altogether? <laughs> a lot. Oh, you can't it's, count them. I mean, are, are there Infinite. more than 1,000 now? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. The streaming be, services? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I just get confused. I mean, ESPN, if you count the ESPN pluses. <laughs> I, just get I had to call my nine-year-old daughter to turn the TV on? the TV on the other day. That's why you have kids, isn't it? Help mm -hmm. with technology. They're out of town. Oh. Willie's right here. Willie's right there. Right, right to your left. Tom, that's it's your... Five that's, minutes right. away. It's insane. Tom, if you... If you, <laughs> no, you see, that's that's the your son. Yeah, will you I take his hand? He does, <laughs> tell him you love him. He, for he doesn't operate that television set. Uh, I can, but I can but figure out can. the television set. It's so Tom? simple. Okay, well, can, you, can you come over tonight? <laughs> you got one for the TV, you got one for the box, and there's one for the thing that puts it all together. Oh yeah. I, it doesn't work. I have no idea. I click around. <laughs> you know, regular people, you have these, these experts come in and and install these crazy yeah. televisions for yeah. you. You just got to get us one smart I had a guy at my house Saturday for two hours trying to get the television to work again. God. See, that's why I figured out how to do it myself. I yeah. hooked up my own one. No, no, he was time. online with Xfinity. No, and I, I, I could do that. They could, I could, they do could never thing. figure... I still don't, I don't want it. some guy, some clown like that in my house that long, okay? It's not going to happen. <laughs> His house, it's like the White House now. There's a person with a clipboard telling you where to go and when to be there. And by the way, could, could we stop... And you the, are? Mm -hmm. Could we stop the password stuff? Stuff. What do you mean? We don't need a password for everything. Oh, you yeah, kind of do. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very important. Tom. Yes, we yes. do, Tom. 
<laughs> Do they need my social security number to get my television working again? Yes. Seriously? No, that's no. a mistake. No, they needed they needed the last four digits of my social. Oh, I, your last four, yeah. Do they drain your bank? I've account? already got <laughs> I've, I've already got the account number and a, a GD password. Well, they want to make sure you're you. Well, I'd like to make sure that it works, and it still doesn't. So, well, all right. Well, this is me. This is why people are cutting the cable. <laughs> doesn't work. Yeah, you're right about that. It doesn't work. They are cutting the cable, but I've got no problems. Well, I've got a big problem. So. <clears throat> Let's see. I've got uh, I've got DirecTV, Apple TV Plus. Uh, I don't know how many channels, and I have. Uh, Aren't no, you paying no for problems. some of them twice? You know, my business that I say... That I, I don't say even want to know air. what he's doubling. Maybe, maybe <laughs> I forgot my passwords. And, and you know what you do if you forget your password at Netflix? Open up another account. <laughs> no, you don't. I remember, Damn right. I remember you came in one morning and you go, I have no less than five Netflix accounts. I have no idea what's going on with my credit card. And I used to... You I know, know your, your password. What a life. Your, your, famous, <laughs> your famous song, write a... Here's a check. Go mm -hmm. away. People send me emails. We just took a check. Now go away. That's what they do all, more, all day long. Okay, well, automatic pay. I got know Netflix? your. I know your password. If yeah, you I got Netflix. It. You got Hulu. Got Hulu. You got Disney Plus. Got Disney. Britbox. Plus. You got Britbox. I got Britbox oh. and Acorn. Those are two. British you got TV. HBO Max, right? Got HBO Max. Yeah. Gotta have HBO Max. <laughs> I got Bienvenido. What? What the hell's that? That's the greeting that I get when I turn my TV on. So it, that means hello. That's about to get back to work, and it doesn't. So I can. It's in three languages. Yeah, that's a crappy situation you got going on there. Yeah, you should really do something. Well, I tried. I, Just call Willie. Yeah.